from the earliest of ages, fishing with my uncle or, or being on it in boats, I always was fascinated with the Mississippi River. So in many ways, my, my going down the river was my Huck Finn adventure. It was getting on a raft and floating down the river, kind of the, the boy in me. An adventure, I say, sometimes can turn into a pilgrimage. And when you go on a journey, you don't know what's going to happen. Um, and, and my belief was that I was going to encounter both myself, but I was also going to encounter God. And along the way, I encountered God in all sorts of amazing ways. Um, in the animals and the creation that I encountered, uh, uh, in the, the people, especially along the river. Um, I called them river angels. I would need a lot of help at different times. And whenever I was exhausted, whenever I was thirsty, whenever I was really lonely, and I would come around the bend and I'd, I'd meet somebody new. Sometimes we think about God as kind of this this being kind of off in the distance. My theology, my God, is a God who is very involved in everything. And the problem is we're so busy we don't pay attention. And I think the river forced me uh, and gave me the, the solitude to pay attention to what was going on inside of me and pay attention to those things that were going on around me. And I began to go, oh, that's, that's what's happening, There's, that's where you are. Well, the letter was originally going to be a letter of apology to the river because I was seeing the pollution, I was seeing what humans had done to this amazing body of water. I really felt like I and my fellow humans were responsible for a lot of the, the problems along the river. But what was really going on inside me was more a realization that the river had become my teacher. And, um, and, I, and I really had to praise and thank the river for what the river had been teaching me along the way. Dear Miss, I hope you have not been offended by my familiar or even intimate form of address, but after nearly a month together, I feel we have grown quite close. Each day as I begin my paddle, you greet me and I discover something new about your personality. While I am only a beginner, you have been greeting others for thousands of years. You have become my teacher and I have learned many lessons. Some I have welcomed, others have been hard and painful. You have taught me with the rich diversity of your path, from marshes to pine forests, across large lakes, through farmland, along majestic bluffs, through maze-like bayous, by small towns, suburbs, and large cities over wing dams and through locks and dams. I have studied with eagles, trumpeter swans, geese, ducks, deer, otter, beaver, pelican, and yes, mosquito. You have blessed me with companions along the way who have quenched my thirst, fed me, and provided shelter strangers who have become friends, river angels, a cloud of witnesses. I have been humbled by your twists and turns, eddies, sweepers, and whirlpools, and exhilarated by your rapids, tailwinds, and strong flow after a rain. My sore hands, aching back, stiff knees, flagging frame and frequently struggling spirit all remind me of my limits, my age, and my mortality. But that is good, because you teach with a clarity and a truth that I need to hear and embrace. And while I may curse you with some regularity, I praise you for the wisdom you invite me into each morning as I set out from your shores. 
Roll on, mighty waters, your humble paddle pilgrim. Thank you.